Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, we will see how we can create SharePoint subsite using Power Automate. In my last video, I covered how we can create SharePoint site collection. So there's a slight difference the way we create the SharePoint subsite or SharePoint site collection. So let's go and see. I will directly go to my Office 365 portal. So similar to my last video, I will use this uh, SharePoint list project site. I will add the title and description for my site and my Power Automate will get triggered and it should create a sub site instead of a site collection. And then at the last, we will quickly see the difference uh, between the, the way we are creating the sub site and the site collection. So the only difference will remain with the rest endpoint. All the other things will remain the same. In uh, to create the subsite also, we are going to use send and HTTP request to SharePoint and other things will remain the same. So let's go to my Power Automate. Over here, I will create one Power Automate automated cloud flow. I will say the flow name would be to create subsite. And the trigger I will use when an item is created or modified. Site address, I will pick PUC site. This is my site address. And list name, I will say project site. So in this particular video, I will be slightly rushing through the things. If you want to really go into the details, I will recommend you to watch my last video in which I have covered how to create the SharePoint site collection using Power Automate. So in the next step, what I will do, I will create one variable, initialize variable. And the variable name would be list URL. So what I will do over here, we are going to replace all the special characters from the site title so that we can directly use this variable in my uh, REST API. So right now I will keep uh, leave it as blank. First, let's directly use it and later on we'll come to this point. And as a next step, I will use send an HTTP request. So this is my HTTP request action. Method will be post. Site address would be PUC site. And now I have to provide the rest endpoint, headers and the body. So header will remain the same except and content type header. Over here, I will simply copy it from here and I will go to the uh, text mode. Over here, I will type accept uh, application slash JSON or data verbose and content type also application slash JSON or data verbose. You can find all the headers, uh, rest endpoints and the body in the description box as well. Now, I will go to the body. Here also, what I will do, first let me copy and then I will explain you each and every property. And for the URI, this is the important thing, the rest endpoint. The rest endpoint would be underscore API. This also you can find in the description box below. Underscore API slash web slash web info slash add. Now, this is, this is the major difference for the uh, site collection endpoint is different to create the subsite endpoint is different to create the subsite what we are doing uh, we are using this web object web web info and inside web info we are adding all this data which will in turn create the subsite now if i come down to this body where i have you know created this json object parameter so first uh, what let's skip this metadata let's come to all these points uri title description so language web template will remain the same so in my last video i covered web template means the code for the type of site or uh, you know site type which i want to create this is for the team site if i want to create the publishing site so the this web template value would be different if you want to get that you can you know go to this particular site so this you are also you can find in the description box below over here you could see this uh, if i scroll down this is the web template for the uh, communication site and this is the uh, 
uh, you could see this is for the team site no, uh, non group associated team site so i am using this in my uh, video so let me go back use unique permission i will say false it is not going to use the unique permission it will inherit the permission of the parent site language is 1033 now description i will get it from my sharepoint list title again i will get it from my sharepoint list and now comes the url url also i will keep it as the title now okay i am done with all this information which i have to add and another thing since you know we are adding it as a sub site we have to pass this property as well underscore underscore metadata and type would be sp dot web info creation information so this is the same when you are adding some data into a sharepoint list you have to add sp dot list uh, sp list type creation information so this is web info creation information because we are adding something to the web so sp dot web info creation information this is mandatory you have to add it now i have added everything first what i will do i will try to create a sub site and then i will come over here and we will see how we can get rid of the special characters okay so i will save now i will go to this particular list and i will add new sub site i'll say to be deleted just for my reference and add sub site this will trigger my power automate flow let's see whether this will run successfully or if there is any error we will just troubleshoot it this will take few seconds to get trigger so my flow got triggered and it is running so let's go over there and flow ran successfully scroll down and here let's try to go through this output i could see configuration id okay now i'll go to this poc site just because i would be adding i might be adding few more values in this project site so i'll go to site contents and here i can see all the sub sites and you could see new sub site to be added it got uh, added successfully poc new sub site to be deleted so my flow is working absolutely fine uh, let's just try to analyze the output which we got uh, from this uh, rest operation let's see if there is anything important i am not sure about it so what it is returning to us nothing over here web information then configuration this is i think this is the information of the site which it created yes server relative url title okay so it got created successfully and in return it will give us this information uh, about the new sub site which got created okay that's fine now let's take care what if there is a scenario like over here what if i am adding the special characters in my title and the same title i am using as part of the site url so i have to get rid of all the special characters so for that similar to my last video over here i will be using the replace function so i'll go to expression i'll say replace i have explained this function in detail in my last video i'll try to repeat it here as well replace so it will say text my original string the, that would be my site title old text old text means the special character which i want to replace and new text for example if there is any percentage so percentage would be the old text and the new text with which i want to replace in my case that would be the simple uh, single quotes with no space that's it that means i just want to get rid of them i do not want to add any extra character or any new character in, uh, instead of the special characters and over here i'll go to this dynamic content and i will add site title done and the moment i'll add title it will get replaced this expression i will copy this and now in the notepad 
I will just you know try to write my complete expression. So this is my expression. This is my a string, and I want to replace my all these spaces. This is done. Now this is my site title with no white spaces. Okay, but it could have some special character. So if I have to replace the at the rate, what I will do now? This is my string with no white spaces but with other special characters so i want to replace with uh, at the rate with this and at last again i i will repeat the same thing and this will be like chain of replace expression i want to replace percentage then any other special character if i have i can keep on you know replicating this replace function i can get rid of all the special character let's say even if i have any dollar or uh, and sign anything if i want to uh, get rid of but in this particular video for this particular demo i think this is sufficient i wanted to just give you the flavor now based on this function based on this knowledge you can create your replace function i'll put this replace function over here sorry not here uh, inside this inside the expression i'll just add this expression and i'll say okay fine now over here get rid of this title and i will add this one site url fine and now let's see how this will work in case we encountered any error we will just troubleshoot it i'll again go and i will add some special characters first a lot of white spaces then add and not and i have worked with at the rate and then say uh, test subsite to be deleted and in between also i will add few percentage and few at the rate see now this will be my site title but it should give me a clean site url and say testing with replace function that's it and save i will wait for my flow to get trigger my flow got trigger it is running and flow ran successfully let's see so let's just go let's just first see the output so i think it got created yes i am getting this yes you could see this is the title but in the url there are no special characters so i think site got created let's go to this sub site i will refresh it and my sub site is ready so this replace function works like charm so i'll just uh and now i think that's it for this particular video but what i will do i will quickly give you a quick difference between the way we created the sub site and the site collection so in this particular tab i'll have this already i think yes let me go to my flow this is the flow which we have used in my last video and i'll edit it the other things will remain the same the only difference is in this action the first difference is with respect to this endpoint underscore api sp site manager slash create over here web web info slash add this is one difference then the only difference is in the body over here this request object will remain the same the only thing is this will come underscore underscore metadata and you have to add the type that's it other properties or parameters will remain the same you could see the difference if you want to go into more details i will recommend you to watch my last video and i think nothing much we have done in this video so yeah that's it for this particular video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos if you have any doubts related to this video or you want to reach out to me you can uh, 
write us to our official email id or also you can reach out to me through youtube comments you can follow me on twitter to get all the updates from the office 365 world till our next video much love keep learning thank you